church. Welcome to worship on this first Sunday of Christmas. I'm Pastor Colleen and I'm the pastor here at Grace Lutheran in Shillington. It is a joy to have you worship with us today. Our worship for today is a service of lessons and carols. We will be hearing readings and singing lots of carols. So I hope that you are ready and are in good voice. My thanks to all who have helped to put this service together for today. Thank you for all, to all of our readers and our singers. So now, as you are ready and as you have prepared your worship table, please sit in your most comfortable chair, take a deep breath, and know for this time that we are together and God is most certainly present. Let us prepare our hearts for worship. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who was in the beginning, who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of goodness and loving kindness, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have turned away from your invitation to new life. We have turned away from the lowly and downtrodden. In your abundant mercy, forgive us our sins, those we know and those known only to you. For the sake of the one who came to live among us, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. And now hear the good news of peace and salvation. God forgives us all our sins not through our own work, but through Jesus Christ, made known to all people. With all who come to the manger, rejoice in this amazing gift of peace. Amen.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, you wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and yet more wonderfully restored it. In your mercy, let us share the divine life of the one who came to share our humanity. Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, those who lived in a land of deep darkness. On them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exclude with dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of the oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting, everlasting father, prince of peace, his authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will be established and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from the time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. A reading from Micah. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth, then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. And he shall be the one of peace. If the Assyrians come into our land and tread upon our soil, 
We will raise against them seven shepherds and eight installed as rulers. A reading from Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and for of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
A reading from Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Canaris was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee in Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them at the inn. Reading from Luke, chapter 2, verse 8 through 16. In that region there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you, you good news for great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, uh, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and, and, and lying in the manger. And suddenly, there was, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those among those whom he favors when the angels had left them and and gone and, and gone into heaven the shepherds said to one another let us now let us go to bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the lord has made made no known to us they they so they went with haste and found mary and joseph and the child lying in the manger While shepherds kept their watching O'er silent flocks by night Behold, throughout the heavens There shone a holy light Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain Jesus Christ is born. The 
the shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. A reading from Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search dil diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so I, that I may go and pay him homage. Then when they heard the king, they set out. And they are ahead of them with the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. And when they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. shines in the darkness and the darkness did not come over it there was a man sent from god whose name was john he came as a witness to testify to the light so all may believe through him he himself was not the light but he came to testify to the light the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world he was in the world and the world came into being through him yet the world did not know him he came to what his own and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to becoming children of God, who were born not of blood or not of will or the flesh or of the will of the man, but of God. And the word became flesh and living among us. 
and we have seen his glory, the glory of a father's own son, full of grace and truth. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the world began to be, He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending He. Of the things that are, that have been, and that future year shall see evermore and evermore. O oh, that birth forever blessed, when the virgin full of grace by the our faith together in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Night and day all creation praises you, O God. Strengthen your church across nations, denominations, and traditions. Fill us with wisdom and unify our proclamation of your forgiveness and mercy. All creation is holy to you, O God. You cause the earth to bring forth its shoots and gardens to spring up. Protect hibernating animals and frozen lands that wait earnestly for longer days of awakening and growth. The nations are upheld by your hand, O God. Cause righteousness and praise to spring forth, inspiring leaders to serve with compassion and integrity. Send your spirit of discernment upon legislators grappling with complex decisions for the sake of the common good. Send the spirit of your Son into our hearts, O God. Come quickly to hearts that race with fear, hearts that break with grief, and hearts that long for wholeness. Be with all those struggling with the COVID-19 virus. Be with those who have recovered and comfort the families of those who have died. Reveal your power to heal and to save. Adopt us into your family, O God. Bless our elders with the peace and joy of Simeon and Anna. Strengthen those who have retired, those who work in older age, and those in need of income, food, company, or health care. Connect young and old across generations. Let us depart in peace, O God, according to your word. For all your saints we give you thanks. 
Prepare our salvation in the sight of all your witnesses of every time and place. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the Word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy God, creator of all and source of life, at the birth of time your word brought light into the world. In the fullness of time you sent your word, born of Mary, to shine in our darkness and to make us your daughters and sons. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his birth and life among us, his death and resurrection, we await his coming again, when all things will be restored in him. By your Spirit, bless us and this bread and cup, that held and nourished by you, we may live as your children, shining with the light of your Son. Through him, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The word is revealed in a manger, in simple bread and wine. Come meet Christ in this meal. body of Christ given for you. Take and eat. The blood of Christ shed for you. Take and drink. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now, Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, Proclaim joy through the angels. Send the shepherds with good news and let the magi by a star. Bless you this day through the word made flesh. Amen. Go in peace. Share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God. <laughs>